<clears throat> okay, welcome back. We are continuing to work our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. This video, we're going to be going through exercise 3.2, which is working with Device Manager. If you're following along with what we're doing with these videos, then we already have the CL1 open. So we're going to go right to that. We'll see our domain controller is in and is on and logged in. And here's our CL1. <clears throat> there we go. Now I want to go to Device Manager. So I'm going to right click and left click on the Device Manager. And that brings us to question number three. Are there any errors or unknown devices? <clears throat> I don't see any errors or unknown devices on here. You'll see it is be marked with like a... Sometimes you'll see like a triangle on it. That means there's an issue with it. Or it's unknown. So the first thing we want to do is right click on to the communications port. If I can find it. Okay, that's going to be here. And I want to disable COM2. So I'm going to left click, right click, disable. And you'll see it has this little sign next to it. Now what icon represents the disabled device? So now we're going to right click on it again and go ahead and do enable device. And then right click again and properties. Our next question is, on the general tab, what is the status of the device? Well, the status of the device is it's working properly. Okay, and then we're going to click on the resources tab. IRQ and IO port. So the next question is what IRQ and IO port range is COM2 using? So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. We want to expand the floppy draft controllers node. And right click it. Oops. And go into properties. On the general tab, what is the status of the device? And then we'll click the resources tab. And you'll see the IRQ, the DMA, and the IO ranges. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click to deselect the use automatic settings. And we want to change the setting based on the setting to basic configuration 002. Okay, and then change setting. So we need to double click the IRQ first. We want to change this to a value of 5. And then click on OK. And then we'll click on OK here to close it. 
and then OK. And then no. Now, which icon is shown by the standard floppy disk controller now? And you see the little triangle with the apostrophe in it. Now we're going to double click the standard floppy disk controller. And it says, the next question is, what is its device status now? So it cannot find enough free, free resources. Okay, we're going to click on the resources tab. Set configuration manually. And we're going to do select use automatic settings and then OK and then yes. Okay, again, it's going to ask us to log in, but we want to choose other user and a datum slash administrator. And then our password. And then sign in. And then we're going to go back to Device Manager, so right-click the Windows icon, and Device Manager. And we want to left click here, right click, and scan for hardware changes. I'm going to go and expand our COM ports. And right click COM2 and update driver. We want to search automatically. And you can see it found the communications port. So we'll go ahead and click on close. <clears throat> and right click COM2 again, go into properties, and then click on the driver tab. And then we want to do. So first you want to answer your question about which driver version is being used by communication port or COM2. <clears throat> now we want to go ahead and do update driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. I want to cancel this, so I actually want to go back. Update driver, browse computer. Let me check my list. Oh, uncheck this box, show compatible hardware.
And we want to select Trimble. And then Trimble to CMCIA. So this one right here. And then Next and Yes. Now that the driver has been installed, we're going to go ahead and click on close. And you're going to do a print screen if you're required to do so from this screen. And that is the end of this exercise.